supposed to be. Yes, summer lovers. I know we're supposed to be in the 80s. We're going to get there tomorrow. We've got those crystal clear blue skies though, and the wind that is still from the northeast. So it's a little bit cooler by the lakefront. Dew points are in the 50s though, so it feels very comfortable, very dry air in place, all from that northerly wind wrapping around high pressure. Relatively light winds though compared to where they've been. The wind is the breeze has been decent the last couple of days to keep those mosquitoes away for the bonfires, but tonight we're going to have to work or not have to worry about the wind impacting your grilling at all. Temperatures across the area get a little bit warmer out to the west, not a whole lot, but 80 in Fond du Lac, 76 in Burlington, 74 though, Racine and 73 right now in Port Washington. As I said, we've got this very dry air in place. Dew points are in the 40s and 50s, so it feels quite comfortable. Humidity levels tomorrow will start to creep up a little bit. Not going to see that real humidity return until we get to about Tuesday and into Wednesday. But since our temperatures are going to drop down close to our dew points. We could see maybe some areas of patchy fog overnight tonight. However, by the time we get to about eight, nine o'clock tomorrow morning, visibility crystal clear, just like it has been all day today. Not a whole lot to show you on satellite radar combination, all thanks to high pressure right on top of us. Off to the west, though, that's where we do have some showers and some thunderstorms. Notice as they get closer and closer, even the clouds are starting to disappear. This area of high pressure kind of acting like Clay Matthews, putting a big block out in front of that next area of low pressure. So we are going to be looking at this dry weather continuing for a nice period of time. So enjoy the dry weather tonight. Good bonfire weather. Great for Brady Street Festival. Great for German Fest. The fireworks going off at 1030. Potato pancakes are phenomenal this year. I checked them out yesterday. Heading into your Sunday, then we're looking at a dry start again to the day. Maybe some patchy fog, but again, we are going to be looking at a dry day and lots of sunshine after that fog disappears. And again, not going to be a huge widespread event. Then the rest of the day, high pressure still keeping us dry. Lots of sunshine as we head into your Monday. Really not a lot to talk about until we get to late in the day on your Tuesday. So here's a cold front that's going to again not swing through until late on Tuesday. So we have plenty of dry time to enjoy before we get any chance for some wet weather. So maybe even turn the sprinkler on because the lawns probably need about a half an inch a week at least to keep those green grasses keep go going. And uh, tomorrow we're going to be talking about 80s in the forecast as well. 60 though overnight tonight clear and cool except for some patchy fog potential 60 degrees in Milwaukee mid 50s expected away from Lake Michigan just because that northeasterly breeze tomorrow for German Fest gates open at noon, but then there is that service at 1030 so it should be dry and sunny for that 77 degrees at noon by three o'clock for the children's parade 80 degrees so a little bit more humidity starts to creep on in cooler than we're supposed to be supposed to be right around 80 degrees today pretty close to that 76 degrees as we go into the next couple of days though we'll be a little bit more where we're supposed to be 80 tomorrow and 83 both Monday and Tuesday with the humidity starting to creep on in so temperatures across the entire state you can see where that warmer air is off to our west that's eventually going to start to slide in but a little bit cooler especially along the lakefront today mainly because of that northeasterly wind that is going to eventually change around here's a look at some of our current temps 66 degrees so yeah we are falling into kind of the cooler range at the moment. Still hanging on to the 70s out to the west where dew points are a little bit higher, so they're going to stay a little bit warmer there. For us, we've got very comfortable dew points in the 50s. They will still stay in the 50s for tomorrow, so another very comfortable day tomorrow, except the temps climb up a little bit. The dew points will start to increase Monday, Tuesday, and into your Wednesday. And coincidentally, of course, that does come with a chance for a few showers and a thunderstorm or two. But at the moment, we are keeping things dry. High pressure on top of us. That is sinking air pushing all the clouds and those rain chances away from us. Those chances for showers are going to take their time to reach us and really not even from this storm system. So here's a look at that high pressure again, keeping our weather incredibly quiet through tonight through tomorrow and even into your Monday. High pressure is still going to push away most of those clouds. We won't see clouds start to push in until late in the day on Tuesday ahead of another cold front that's on the way. That's going to bring our temps down into the low 70s yet again by the end of the week, but it's going to be slow going, so that means a lot of dry time in our forecast for tonight in Milwaukee, 60 degrees away from Lake Michigan, more like 56 degrees could see some patchy fog where the temperatures get pretty close to that dew point. And if you're headed out to German Fest tomorrow, 